what's up everybody and today I got a little treat for y'all this is a 98 GMC Sierra that I obtained for free I was given this truck by a friend it used to be his dad's and his dad passed away and he gave it to me but it needed a few things I put a security ECU into it I put an alternator a belt and a battery in it, it crunk up uh, probably after three times of turning it over fired right up no issues and then as soon as I got ready to drive it the brake master cylinder went out on it and I couldn't get it back to the house so what I did was got it towed back to the house and we put a new master cylinder on there uh, I didn't do a video on it but it's pretty simple it's just the lines are here and two bolts on there on the back I'll show it to you right here and there and then here's your two lines and I bench bled it and pumped them up and got all the air out of the system and all that stuff but once I try to crank it up this is the new alternator I put on here and it is already locked up as you can see there is like belt material all over it uh, it didn't stick to my finger but there's belt material all over it, and it is locked up and this bad uh, alternator's only been on here for a few months and it is tearing up my brand new belt as well so I'm gonna have to replace the belt I think the tensioner is a little wore out on here as well so we're gonna replace the belt the tensioner and go ahead and warranty out this alternator so that's gonna be the video for today so if you would just stick with me and we'll get this changed and I'm gonna go grab some tools and everything we'll show you how to do this and I actually will crank it up let y'all see what it looks like while it's running doesn't smoke and it was sitting for about two years but like i said let me get this going and go grab some tools and i'll be right back all right the tensioner is right here and there is a spot to put i think it's a 3 8 ratchet let me make sure yep and then you just pull it down or towards the passenger side and we'll take the belt off of it well, if i can Pretty much melted onto the alternator is why it wouldn't come off. Right. Yeah, this alternator is locked up like bad. It's a brand new alternator too. Let me look at the belt, make sure. Belt don't look horrible. I may just try to run it for right now. Like I said, that's my own personal truck. If it was somebody else's, I would actually advise against it. As you can see, it's all inside of here. So we'll clean off these grooves. See if we can get it out of there. I don't know, the tensioner's got some good spring back on it. May just go grab the alternator and see about it because this alternator is fried. But so the next step we're gonna do is actually disconnect the battery. We're just going to disconnect the positive side and then we'll take the connectors and stuff off of the alternator. Got the battery disconnected now we're going to disconnect this wire on the back of the alternator looks like about a 12 or 13 let's go with a 13 first yep she is a 13 I'm going to have to set y'all down for a minute. I'll point y'all towards the alternator. This does have a lock washer on it, by the way. Most of the new alternators come with a lock washer. 
and this is a brand new alternator it's not a reman or anything which is surprising that it is locked up and literally it only sat for god there's a connector on the back it only sat for like a month before the alternator uh before we tried to crank the truck also there's two 13 millimeters that hold it onto the bracket you probably see a lot of oxidation on this thing there was this was a northern truck Your alternator. Here's your alternator right here. Like I said, this is a new alternator, but it is locked up tight. Like I'm trying to turn it and it will not budge. Alright, well, let me take it back to the parts store. See if they got another one in stock. Hopefully they do so we can get this back on and get her running. Because we do want to clean it up. It's got a lot of debris on it. Got spider webs. I'll give y'all kind of a overview of it. The interior really needs to be cleaned. It's a mess in here. I mean the dash is busted and all that, but I mean free truck I ain't gonna complain. 350 good engines. Does have a tonneau cover on it, does leak. May get rid of all these running boards. Like I said, it's got rust on it right here. Typical Chevy stuff in the north. Frame has some rust on it. Not like major rust, but I don't know if y'all can see that. That's like surface rust stuff. But like I said, I'm not gonna complain. It's a free truck, it ran. No major issues like it didn't even smoke when i crank it up but all is full transmission fluid was fairly decent i mean a little darker than i really like but was it dirty by no means or black i should say it was kind of a dark burgundy color but like i said i'm gonna run to the parts store real quick i'll be right back because we need to swap this out okay as you can see right here i had to take off the bracket because i ended up breaking this ear off right there and here it is this goes right there so we kind of made a mistake on that But I did get a new one or used one out of the junkyard right there. Exact same thing. Went ahead and got the pulleys and everything just in case. See which one was better. Come on, if I can get it out of there. But to remove this, you have to do is there's a nut or a bolt right here that holds this water hose on then this bracket there's a bolt that holds that on and then you're going to have two bolts and one stud with a nut on it that attaches to the engine now this stud can be in one of two places 
A lot of times I see on the 4.3s, the studs will be on this location on the head, where on the V8s, they're on this location. But it could be either way. But I'm going to stick this back on. This is the broken one. Now we can put the alternator on. I'll set this down in here and then hook up this wire right here first. This is the one that goes to your battery. If I remember correctly, I believe this one is a 12 or 13. It must be a 13. Hook up our connector. Now we can stick her in. The two bolts that go to the alternator are going to have these rounded tips on them. Now we can put the tensioner on. All right. Now, time for the belt. Looks like I'm going to have to charge the battery a little bit because it is dead. So I'm going to hook up the battery charger for a little bit and then whenever we get ready to crank it up, I'll bring y'all back. As y'all can see from the beginning, it did crank up because I did charge the battery up good enough, but there's a check engine light on. It is misfiring, which is to be expected from a truck that's been sitting for two to three years. But the battery voltage is at about 14 and a half volts. All your fluids are good. The oil pressure is actually really good on this truck. They have 176,000 miles. It's like at idle, it's around 50, 60 pounds. Give it a little bit of gas. And it goes up a little bit but doesn't fall below 50 but there's a check engine light i think it is misfiring it's probably a misfire code so it's shimmying pretty good but there's dirty gas in this and that's not helping anything and there's probably moisture in the distributor cap because these are bad about that but that's going to be pretty much it for this video i'm going to go ahead and turn it off because she's misfiring pretty good but that's it for this video uh it's just mainly showing y'all how to change an alternator and i guess how you can break an alternator bracket on one of these because i did have to change that but if you got any questions comments concerns leave them in the comment section below i'll get to them as quick as possible and if you would hit that like subscribe and notification bell and until next time y'all have a great day